Welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel, The Financial Trader's Mindset. Change of view here from my typical videos. I'm just on my rooftop patio chilling and I ordered this tripod and I was like, you know what? It's a nice night. It's a little crisp, a little, little chilly. But uh, I was like, you know what? Let me run a video here. And in this video, it's gonna be more of a serious mindset type of video on what to expect, right? You know, we what to expect when we achieve our goals for financial freedom. Uh, now, it's, it's one of those things that we chase all our life, but once you reach that goal, I'll be, I'll be one to tell you, along with others that have achieved it, that it's not all it's cracked up to be. Uh, you know, so I was financially free in my 30s, right? And the last bull cycle in the, in the stock market and in the crypto market, 2021, I saw a shit ton of money, right? And I particularly remember walking down the park. I was taking my daily stroll in the park and I was just thinking about, you know, what I achieved, right? And in the past, you know, I've worked jobs, I've worked in corporate, I've been poor, I, I grew up with no money. And my whole life during my career, I was trying to make it and, you know, just become financially free, right? I would start businesses, side hustles, working overtime, right? Trading the markets. And I was just like, I need to get to that goal. I need to get to that point and I'll be good. Well, you know what? That is not the case. You will not be good. Now, you're probably looking at this, at this and say, well, why even try then? Well, I mean, it is good. <laughs> Don't let it fool you. You know, having your time, 100% of your time, free to do whatever it is that you want to do, you can't put a price on it. You cannot put a price on it. And what that does, it allows you to make decisions based on that. You start saying no to things that you don't want to do. You start saying yes to things that make sense. Uh, but going back to the park, the walk in the park, that day, I was pretty, I remember I was pretty euphoric. And I was like, wow, I just made so much money. I was like, I never have to work again. And I was walking and I was like, so what's next? I sat down on a bench. I was just thinking like, what am I gonna do? You know, I'm in my thirties still. And I think I just hit 40, right? But, and I was just like, what am I gonna do for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years, right? And I sat there and I actually got depressed. I was like, holy shit, man. I could literally sit on my ass all day. I could sit on the beach sit the Mai Tais and and right off into the sunset, right? Like that's it. But then I, I looked at that at that potential life and I was just like, that would be a misery. Imagine waking up with no purpose, nothing to do. Yes, don't get me wrong. First six months was amazing, right? Because we traveled, you know, we uh, I was just doing whatever I wanted. I was like, I don't have to do anything. I wake up on my own time. I go to sleep when I want to. I do what I want. But eventually you will need to have a purpose because like that day, you will get depressed. You will start thinking, what am I on this planet for then? I'm just consuming and not giving back to society, right? I'm not giving back. Now, what people do is, you know, either they find a business, right? Or they, some people go back to work. They don't have to. Some people volunteer, right? All great things. But it was really eye-opening because you know this. Seeing this video, you probably know that. And you're probably thinking, well, I already know that. But when you experience it and feel it within, when it's deep down, comes from deep down, like, holy shit, I made it, but... What next? What, what am I gonna do? I don't have to do anything. I mean, after the whole honeymoon phase passes, and you're like, what am I gonna do? What do you tell people at a, at a party? 
that's still that's still a hard conversation for me. I don't know what to say during that time. <laughs> People ask me what I do, and I'm just like, oh, man, <laughs> how much time you got? <laughs> you know, but um, so I really want to put it out there that, you know, it is really that saying where it talks about it's all about the journey, not about the destination. It truly is. Life is just a journey of self-development, you know, evolving, becoming better every day, learning new things, keeping an open mind to learning new things. That's very important. And being open to other people's ideas. Because, you know, we can't know everything, right? And you leverage other people to learn new things. <clears throat> so right now it's November of 2024. We just passed the elections, right? I'm not going to go into that. But now I think we're on the cusp of another boom cycle, right? We just came out of the bus cycle from 2021. I think we're about to enter a new phase of a boom cycle. New millionaires, millionaires will be minted. People will make a lot of money. It's very important to, to realize that after that happens. Oh no. <laughs> My, yes, I am. I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. Well, afterwards, I'll tell you. I'll tell you when I'm done, okay? Okay, come on up. Come on up. I'm doing a video. Go ahead and sit down. I'm recording a video. You're going to make me nervous. Are you doing a live stream? Yeah, I'm doing a video. No, I'm not live stream. I'm just doing a video. But uh, before my phone, my phone runs out of space. You what? I said, uh, you know, I, you, you're making me nervous. <laughs> Why? I'm just doing a video, you know? Let me, uh, oh, okay. Well, yeah. come, Dumpling. You want, okay. Can you stay then? Uh, yeah, he can, he can stay. You can stay if you want. Or I can just call you when I'm done, yeah? And I'll what, be down. Do you want mommy okay. to sit next to you when you play Apex? You want okay. okay. I'll be downstairs shortly. Ah, so... <laughs> I got interrupted for a second there. <laughs> Anyways, my wife's like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I've never done this before, right? I'm, I'm doing a new thing, new video here on a rooftop. But uh, just going back to what I was saying, like, it's very important to, to, to have that purpose. You know, whatever it is, it has to come from inside. Nobody can tell you what that purpose is, right? And that's something that I learned along, you know, throughout my journey. I wanted to just share that with you and let you know that <laughs> it is about the journey and it might suck. Like for you, like, especially those that have not made it yet. It might just suck. You're looking at the journey. It's like, man, it's just a constant grind. I'm constantly out of this. I'm doing stuff I don't want. But you know what? I look back on it. I'm like, you know, I mean, yes, not all of it was like amazing, but I've met some amazing people along the way, had some great experiences along the way, learned some awesome things along the way, developed as a human being along the way, socially, right? And if I was to go back and say, you know what? I'm going to go back to work in my current state, right? And I'm just like, like, I go back to work. I would actually, it would actually be more enjoyable. As weird as that sounds. You're like, wait, go back to work and be more fun? Yeah, it would. Simply because I've realized internally that it is about the journey. And, you know, it would be selfish of me for me not to share my story and not to share what I've done to get to this point, right? And it would be a terrible thing to waste, right? So why not share it? So that's what I'm doing, right? I'm just sharing it. So, yeah, you know, so I, we're, you know, get prepared. Make sure you know what, know what your plan is. It's not about that end goal. You can have, you have the goal to achieve, right? That is the ultimate goal. But just look around every once in a while. Just stop and look around, like that Ferris Bueller saying, such a great movie. That whole movie is just great. But, you know, it's good to just stop and look around every once in a while and just enjoy that view, where you've come from, where you can possibly go, Re constant self-reflection, rewarding yourself for achievements. It's good to do that. It doesn't always need to be like, go, 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 and, you know, beating yourself up over failures, you know, reward yourself when you do something that you've achieved in your journey. Oh, 
So like, yeah, I was just thinking about that. I was sitting up here thinking, I was like, man, let me just get that tripod and set it up. But um, hopefully that's some little bit of wisdom there. Hopefully it helps. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one, maybe on the, on the rooftop again. Let me know what you think. If this is a cool setting. If not, I'll go back to the car <laughs> before I'm in the car, you know, just so I can film it. <laughs> Either way, it's all good. All right. Peace. See you later.